Hey there fellow coders, welcome to the future of coding, introducing you to the Tab9, your AI coding companion. Tab9 is an AI powered coding assistant that works seamlessly with all major IDEs. It uses advanced deep learning models to provide accurate and context aware code completions saving you time and reducing the chances of errors okay in this video what we will do is we will try to set up tab 9 inside of vs code okay so without further ado i'll just jump into my vs code and we will start our today's lab and you need to go to the extensions okay so if I come to extensions, so here are the extensions that you can install. So I will type here tab 9. Yeah, this one, the first one, its name is tab 9 AI autocomplete for JavaScript. Let me zoom it out. Python TypeScript. Yeah, you can see JavaScript, Python, Java, TypeScript and all other languages. Okay, you can actually start with 14 days free trial as well. Tab 9 Pro trial, that is really great actually, okay? And actually Tab 9 Pro, you can get whole line completions, full function completions as well. So yeah, you can actually start the free trial. And in Enterprise, actually you get everything Tab 9 Pro has and much more actually. So it's basically for the companies that develop applications. These are the languages, libraries and framework it supports. You can see how many of them are here. So these are actually reviews. So that's it. To install what you need to do is you need to click on install. It will take a while to install the extension for you. Yeah, it's done. You can see it's initializing. It says welcome to tab 9. So it says that you can actually click this tab 9 logo in your status bar at any time to actually manage your settings and to get help and more. So it's saying like get tab 9's code suggestion. As you code, you will see tab 9's code suggestions in line in gray. Okay, you will see the suggestions like this grayed out and you need to hit tab to accept a code suggestion just like in AWS code whisperer. Okay, uh, so actually we will see them in more detail when we'll be coding inside of tab 9. So it's initializing for me. It will take a while to initialize the extension actually. Okay, so I'll just close this thing out. So let's just go ahead and I will just pause the AWS extension because I do not want them to actually conflict with each other. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Yeah, initialization is complete. I'll just close this thing out. So now it says, tab 9 says, please sign in to start using tab 9. So what I will do here is I'll just click on sign in button right here. So it will open up a new page for me. The best part is you can just click on continue with Google, which actually saves a lot of time in manually like entering the details. Okay. So I always prefer to choose sign in with Google because you don't need to actually uh, remember the passwords as well. Okay. It says that you're all set. You can now close this tab and start working with tab nine in your IDE. So I'll just close this thing out. I'll just minimize this thing. It says that you're currently logged in as and it gives my name. Okay. So now what I'll do here is I'll just create a new file. Okay. So I'll select a language which will be as let me see python yeah python is fine yeah i'll say it like write a function that yeah you can see it's just suggesting me and it says that congrats on your first tab 9 code completion it was actually just a suggestion so we'll see write a function that uh, actually calculates the average of the yeah, it's actually pretty much faster than AWS Code Whisper. That's great. List of numbers. Yeah, it's actually faster, but let's see whether it works accurately or not. Okay. So the main point is that I'll just click enter. So yeah, it's actually defining the average function. So it's saying that try out a 14 day preview of tab 9 pros advanced completion. So I'll just cancel this thing out print average yeah it's actually taking the complete list inside of that thing so let's test this thing out okay so i'll just press f5 on the keyboard and i will call this as average function okay 
so i'll just hit save i'll say it's a python file yet yeah, just printed the average actually which is nice in my view i actually like the thing about it that it's much much faster than aws code whisper like that's pretty much amazing but it's shocking that it's actually working faster than aws code whisper okay faster than github's copilot as well that's really strange and actually amazing okay so so let's try to get your hands dirty with javascript okay so i'll just create a new file i'll select a language and i'll say javascript okay so let's say write a function that creates wow that's really super fast clock on screen let's see yeah function create clock yeah that's good this was actually the basic thing i wanted to show you so stay tuned and have a good time bye thank you